in New York alone, nearly 40,000 die in one year from diseases because of this. Filth. It's 1895 and large parts of America's major cities are becoming unpleasant. 120,000 horses dump 200,000 kilos of manure onto the New York streets every day. Wagons are blocked by meter-high piles of human and animal waste. Into this world steps a man on a white horse, Colonel George Waring. Civil War veteran and legendary sewer engineer. He's the head of New York's sanitation department. The city stinks with the emanations of putrefying organic matter. Black rottenness is seen and smelled on every hand. The crowded streets are a veritable hell. Waring recruits an army of 2,000 sanitation workers in white uniforms. Some dismiss him as a crank. They call his men white ducks. But Waring means business. Tons of garbage normally dumped into the river is recycled. Ash becomes landfill. Organic waste is boiled into oil and grease. Waring's men clean 697 kilometers of street. Death rates decline, water quality improves. Waring saves the lives of thousands. The measures spread across America. Just 16 years after Colonel Waring, half of all American cities have waste collection. By 1907, every large city in the nation has sewers. By 1909, there are 67,642 kilometers of sewers in America. The battle against filth, crime and poverty has begun. But one of the city's greatest innovations is still in its infancy. One man will change the urban landscape forever. 1879, men But wearing means business. Tons of garbage normally dumped into the river is recycled. Ash becomes landfill. Organic waste is boiled into oil and grease. Waring's men clean 697 kilometers of street. Death rates decline, water quality improves. Waring saves the lives of thousands. The measures spread across America. Just 16 years after Colonel Waring, half of all American cities have waste collection. By 1907, every large city in the nation has sewers. By 1909, there are 67,642 kilometers of sewers in America. The battle against filth, crime and poverty has begun. <laughs>